In this tutorial we will be talking about salient team global sections, so what they are and how we are using. Today we technically will be looking on one specific way how we will be using it, because I have created kind of event calendar, which is showing upcoming and past events. And uh, let's say there is a situation when I would like to display this calendar on my website in multiple places. So what's normally going to happen, so this specific calendar here, this list is displayed uh, by using VP Bakery uh, different elements. And uh, now if I, I can kind of duplicate this thing in multiple places, but if I will be doing changes and as it is calendar which will require changes quite often, uh, it will mean that I need to now go and edit those events in every single place where I pasted in this kind of calendar list, you know. So to avoid that, we will be doing that. We will put this calendar in one specific place, which is global section. And then we will be using another element, which will let us implement now this calendar on any page where we want. And if we will need to do some changes to this calendar, all we will be doing is pretty much going to the calendar uh, that global element edit the calendar there and all the changes automatically of course will be displayed on all of the places where we added this calendar in so to do that first things first what we need to do we will go to the back end of our wordpress website and we will find section which calls global sections so if you are first time here most likely what you will be seeing is this a notification here that we are not using VP Bakery page builder for our global sections and to turn it on what we need to do we need to go to VP Bakery settings role manager and we need to change now a couple things so I think by default it's going to be pages only so we will switch to custom and you will find where you want to use VP Bakery page builder if you want to use in a WooCommerce products you can select that as well so this will be salient global sections. So this one here is the one which we are looking after. So now when you check which ones you need, click save changes. And it says that roles has been saved. Now we can go back to the global sections. And the notification now is gone. Now on this page here, this is where I created this calendar. But like I said, if I want to display in multiple different places, instead of duplicating it so what i will do i will just go and currently edit this page so i can actually grab what i have been created already so far so i don't need to recreate it from the scratch and i will just scroll down as you can see all this area here so this row is one column but multiple elements inside this is what makes this calendar kind of list to happen now from here what i will be doing i will just copy this row now i will come to the global sections and i will click add new global section now i need to provide the title for our global section so i will call it events calendar And now I will switch to backend editor. That is why we turn it on VP Bakery. And I will click uh, currently add element. I will just paste row, but I will come here and on this row I will click paste, which now pasted in the row which I copied from that other page. Now this first one I can delete. And uh, this global section is pretty much now already created. Uh, one more thing what I need is probably grab this custom code which I created as well for the calendar to make its style a little bit different to match what I need and from here so normally if you are creating a global sections if you didn't know so when you are uh, let's go to the page itself and let's see so this page currently is not published. This is my demo website where I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Um, so if you didn't know when you are on your website front, you can click on this display salient hooks. So what is salient hooks? Salient hooks are places where we can actually use global sections if we want. And depending on which page you are, uh, you will see those places where we can use. You can see when I'm coming over, it says a new global section. So those would be like in general you know so let's say if you want for example somewhere right before footer 
on every single page some section which would display on every single page this is what we will be using but currently I will hide those hook, uh, hooks because we don't really need them because like I said we will be using actually element but that would be you know one way how we can actually use those global sections uh, same applies as well let's say if you want to put some sort of notification right on top of your uh, of your heading of your website you know here you go use global section you know and you can display it on any single page or if I will come back here as you can see we have option where we can click a new location and we can display it in multiple different locations and also we have display conditions and the conditions here are different so condition can be let's say that you want to display only on your blog post pages not on every single page on your website or you want to display it for specific uh, for example users only for your subscribers or for the guest ex uh, guest users you know so those all will be conditions you know which you can use and apply you know so you will see that there are a lot of options but in this case again like I said just because we will be using element uh, for the global sections we're not gonna set any options here uh, there is also a possibility if you have multiple global sections that you can categorize them as well but in this case all I will do is just simply click publish and you are publishing things like that they are not becoming uh, published on your website currently and not gonna apply display somewhere randomly you know uh, we didn't set any conditions so currently it's kind of published but uh, it's pretty much accessible only by direct link which nobody really knows you know and there you can see so this is how this section will look like uh, if I will put on any other page you know where I want it so now let's close this preview now and let's come back to this page here so as you can see this section here is the one which I created of course if I would like to add it on the same page again you know I can clone it again you know and let's say add it uh, add it at the bottom so paste like that you see I can even drag and drop things around if I want but in this case let's say if I would need on the same page this is how it's gonna look like you know I can again copy it you know and this is the real one and this is now the copy which I which looks exactly the same but in this case we're not gonna go this road because like I said the example is that we will be using on different random pages uh, where we want it for example this will be our home page but now I have services page where I want this calendar as well there maybe will be some other pages where I would like to do that so what I will do here I will come at the bottom of the page uh, and click plus now I will search for global start taping global and you will find the global section now when I will select this one this will open element and as you can see already that it displays the uh, the global sections which I have already created and this events calendar global section which I created as you can see I can click uh, it's already pretty much selected here and uh, another option we have enabled display conditions which I don't know what they are there so utilize the specific display conditions set with in your global section okay so those section conditions would be those ones here so even when you are using it as an element to embed it somewhere on your page you still can use those conditions like I said let's say I want to display only for my subscribers this calendar so that would be condition which I can select here this would look like this you know true and instead to everywhere I will just scroll down you know and find subscriber okay so that would mean that this condition is displayed to subscribers or false again we can exclude something you know if we do not want but in this case I'm not gonna use any conditions at all and all I will do just here is save changes and let's click preview and now you will see that I will have exactly the same at the bottom again but this time if I'm coming to edit page as you can see it's not the batch of all those elements here but this is just a one global section okay so same applies here I can pretty much get rid of this one and now move this global section here 
and if I will click preview this will be exactly the same as you saw when I opened this page first time you see so this is the global section already and now if you want to edit this calendar here you're not gonna come to this page because from here you not really are able to edit of course you can click edit here and this will take you but to edit those events now you don't need to come to those pages where you added it in you will be coming to global section so let's go back to the global section at all and there you will see all your global sections and to edit this calendar all you will do is just click on the title wait till the vp bakery backend editor will load in and now i can do edits you see let's say if i need to add one more element uh one more event in this calendar so let's so let's do changes so this for example will be uh 25th february event uh let's call it new event save so uh newest i will keep so the closest one will be on the top and the next one newest will be at after that one and if i will click update and now come back to this page and click refresh now you can see that i have new element added and if i would embed this global section in multiple places all those changes would apply now on every single page where i embedded this global section so this is how it's working this is also handy if you are example creating a page or element where you have maybe a logos with your uh, maybe some companies which you are working with you know or brands or uh, let's say you are a public speaker and you were speaking in different kind of uh, newsletters or you know again social medias and you have logos displayed and let's say you created this section with all the actual ones now after a year you know you need to do changes because you have much more logos to add in maybe some you want to take out and again if you will be copying element by element to multiple pages you see you will need to now go and edit every single place where if you will be using this global section you just edit it from one place from global section and all the changes will automatically apply in every single place where you simply added this global uh, element global section element in so that's how we are using global elements and uh, yeah as you can see very handy very easy to use when you need specifically replicate and do edits in this specific area uh, for multiple pages at one so that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see more from me subscribe and i will see you on the next one